Christians, that is the leader of the Christian Democratic Party, to express our condolences to all those who have been affected by the recent hostage event in Martin Place, particularly to the families of Torrey and Katrina, who lost their lives tragically at the hands of this gunman. No one expects to go to work and for something like this to happen and your life to be taken. I'm also pleased at the support of the public in the spontaneous display of grief and emotion with the flowers that have now been mounting up not very far from where I'm sitting at the moment in my office near Martin Place. And I was pleased on the first day of the hostage event to actually inspect it myself and then the next day to actually lay flowers together with all the other flowers that were there as an indication of our support in the Christian Democratic Party for all the people who were taken as hostages uh, on that particular day uh, by this crazed uh, Muslim gunman. There are many questions to be asked as to how such a person could have a shotgun, how could he be roaming the streets on bail when he's already been facing serious charges covering a number of uh, issues. He's the person that wrote the angry letters to the families of soldiers that had died in Afghanistan, our Australian soldiers, and for that he was uh, found guilty. He's also been facing charges of sexual assault by a number of uh, women and also uh, he has been uh, recorded as an accessory uh, to the murder of his own wife uh, who was brutally stabbed and set on fire while she was alive. His girlfriend has been charged with that murder but the murder is so vicious it has all the signs of that crazed gunman. It does remind us though in Australia that we stand together, our society in harmony. We won't let these events divide us and promote violence in our society or payback events. We have to accept each other and trust each other. But I do emphasise that we must all together work to have one set of laws for everyone. One law for everyone. No Sharia law in Australia. Uh, no promoting of this extreme uh, Islamic uh, view and policies and ideology in our nation. Australia has been free of these hostage events in the past and we want to stay that way. So I just bring to you those words of Jesus Christ when he said, Blessed are those who mourn, who mourn, for they shall be comforted. May those words be a comfort to all those who have suffered through this hostage event. God bless you each one.